Hi everyone, so this is my beauty Q&A. Can I get a, can I get a? You're probably thinking, Grace, you're wearing the exact same makeup and hair as your last video. Yeah, I just changed my top. Uh, yeah. Just for you guys to message me your makeup or beauty questions or just general questions if you really wanted to, but um, I kind of wanted to stick to beauty and makeup for now. I put a thing on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook page, YouTube videos I mentioned, I mentioned it everywhere um, because I do get quite a few beauty messages and I just thought, you know what, it's such a shame, why don't I just sit down and film a video and answer them for you because it might benefit other people. Anyway, you're going to have to bear with me because I have questions all over my social media so I'm going to have to like flick um, between them just to make sure that I answered them all. But thank you to everyone who did ask me a question. Also, I'm sorry if I pronounce anyone's name wrong, um, I'm awful, I'm just going to use my dyslexia as an excuse, I'm dyslexic, so don't go hard on me, yeah? I just, I can't read. I can't read. The first question is from Sinead and she says, um, how do you apply blusher when you have a bigger face? Don't mean big, just not pea sized. <laughs> Answer I would say is don't worry about the sides of your head. Um, <laughs> it's more to do with the actual place that you apply your blusher. So your blusher needs to sit around about here. I don't know if you can see it on me. Um, yeah, and I just literally apply it with a fluffy brush in circular motions, just work your way up. Doesn't matter if you have a big head, don't put your blusher like here. It needs to just be a little bit here. Um, obviously everyone does it different, but that's just how I do mine and that's how I was taught to do it. The other question she says is, how do you make the most of a larger brow bone area directly under the eyebrow? I don't want to go crazy with too much colour there, but I'd like to make the most of that area, I think. Hope this makes sense. Yeah, it does. Um, I too have a large distance between my eyelid and the arch of my brow. Um, go wild, like honestly, go wild. Um, it's your preference. I mean, if you like highlighter, then obviously apply a bit of highlighter underneath your brow bone. If you like a lot of eyeshadow, then you can take it up because you can get away with it because you have more of a gap. I wouldn't take it too high up though because then it will look like the space is smaller. If you do have quite a big gap between your eyelid and your brow bone or the arch in your brow, um, then just go for it. Absolutely, you can go for it. You can get away with it. Maybe just do something. I mean, you could do something quite light and then really just blend in darker colours like a smoky eye would look really nice. Um, so yeah, you can definitely go for it if you have space. I wouldn't say don't, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay, so on to Instagram. First question is from Cadence, um, and she says, what's your all-time favourite drugstore mascara? Mm. I tend to use my MAC mascara every day, but drugstore... My favourite drugstore mascara would have to be, honestly, any of the Maybelline Falsies line. I love them, I think they're brilliant. And this is also going to answer another question that I got um, from Jennifer, which is, uh, what's a good lengthening mascara? I really, really like Maybelline Falsies there incredible and they're very affordable um yeah honestly any of the maybelline falsies are brilliant they're all brilliant and i love them and um yeah i just forget that they exist because i use my chanel one every single day okay this also says um what is your favorite light pink she said drugstore mascara but i think she means lipstick um favorite light pink drugstore lipstick I just quickly grabbed it so I can show it to you. It is the um, Rimmel Kate Lipstick in 101. It's just a really nice baby pink. I really, really like it and I would wear this every single day. I really, really like this. Um, I'll try and wear it in a video soon so you can see what it looks like, but that's something I would recommend um, as my favorite pink lipstick. So I do like pinks and nudes and stuff like that. Um, again, really affordable, so that is that one. Next question, what is your favorite lipstick and why? Favorite lipstick would have to be it's a toss up between two, but I'm gonna go with my YSL Rouge Pure Couture lipstick. Um, yeah, that'll be my favorite lipstick at the minute, because I do I do wear it all the time and I'm down to like a little stump. Bethany says, what concealer would you recommend to hide rather dark circles under your eyes before using a powder foundation as I have problems with caking and it going into fine lines, but I need the coverage. Thank Covering dark circles, I will always, always mention the YSL Touche Eclat. I think they're brilliant. <laughs> you could argue they're pricey, but I really don't think they are for what they do. Um, if you want something that is cheaper, um, then I've got a bit of sun on me. Um, but if you did want something that was cheaper than the Touche Eclat, then Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Because it's cheap and it is really good and I use that, uh, I would say that probably. 
Jennifer. Jennifer has asked me quite a few questions, um, but I'm going to try and find them all now <laughs> and answer them. So she says, um, what is the best drugstore concealer for spots besides a collection one? For spots, I would definitely, definitely recommend the Wake Me Up concealer. I do not like the Wake Me Up foundation. It's so orange on me. I, but the concealer has a really good coverage to it. So for spots, that's what I tend to use. I go between that and my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I use the collection one underneath my eyes and around my nose. But to cover spots, the Wake Me Up one, because it's just really, really, really good for covering spots, blemishes, anything you want covered up the Wake Me Up concealer. It's a good lengthening mascara. Mm, I like the MAC Auto Naughty Lash Mascara, I'm wearing it now. Drugstore, again, I would say any of the Maybelline ones because I just, I do really trust them. I've tried a lot of them, like the retro one um, and all the falsies and I haven't been disappointed with them. And they're cheap, so you, you just can't go wrong. You just cannot go wrong. Twitter, Jennifer asked me another question, so let me just find it. Oh, what is the best pinky nude drugstore lipstick for pale skin? Again, the Rimmel one. This light's really getting on my nerves. What is it? Oh, it's because my curtain's open a little bit. I'm really proud of myself, um, and I really like that. So probably that one. Amelia says, how old were you when you started using makeup? I think... Throughout school I didn't really wear it and I remember one of my friends at school, she always used to wear it and I used to think, oh my god, just so grown up. We were like 15 at the time, but I was like, oh my god, just so grown up. Probably about 15 when I first wore eyeliner. Eyeliner was the first thing I wore, I wore it in my waterline, it was my mum's. She never watches this, but uh, yeah, it was my mum's and I used to take it out of her makeup bag and use it and I probably did steal it from her um, at some point, but that was my first product and I was probably 15 at the time. I was never really into makeup. Then I left school, I was so scared to do eyeliner in my waterline. I was like, is it really gonna hurt? Like I was an absolute worst. Still am in some situations, but it's only really been the last three years. I've really, really been into it um, and spent all my money on it. Maddie says, uh, what are your top five high-end products? Love your vids. Thank you. <sighs> Top five high-end products. <sighs> Good God. Right, number one has to be Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk because I'm obsessed with it and I'm just down to like this. And it's so sad. So yeah, number one, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner. Maybe number two would have to be uh, my Tom Ford Spanish Pink Lipstick. I think it's 01 Spanish Pink Lipstick. Love that it's just beautiful in every single way number three i bought it the other day laura mercier um spiced rose lipstick i bought it the other day and i'm obsessed with it it's going to be like my autumnal lip um love that and the packaging is lovely oh my god this is difficult number four is going to have to be the tom ford shade and illuminate it's like a contour palette and it's just beautiful i love it it's incredible number five would probably have to be my ysl beige tribute uh, i mean i like a lot of things but if i have to narrow it down things that i would use on like a daily basis it would be those five pink and pastel says um what do you recommend for someone wanting a nude slash autumnal shade to be honest the color that i'm wearing right now nude autumnal shade would have to be syrup by mac it's got a purpley tone to it uh, it's also quite nude and it's not out there at all bright if you wanted to go down the brownier um then the lipstick i'm wearing right now um probably Laura Mercier Spice Rose. Love it. I'm pretty sure that that's all of the questions. So thank you to everyone who asked me a question. I hope it has helped and I hope it's helped someone else if you wanted to maybe know the answer to these questions. Um, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you enjoy these like midweek extra videos because I would definitely do more of them. But I didn't want this beauty Q&A to really take up Sunday's slot. If you have any other beauty questions or any other questions of course but feel free to tweet them to me um, all of my social media links are in the description box below subscribe if you would like to and i will see you on sunday for another video <laughs>